So now I'm just going to go through the junglers and talk about what junglers could be relevant in this meta. The thing about the junglers right now is that the meta is speeding up, so it's actually hard to make room for a jungler. But if you pick a jungler, you need to get something done in the jungle fast, and you need to gank pretty early and help your team. That being said, junglers are not dead, and for pop games, junglers are more alive than ever. So, single target junglers, life stealer, doom, legion commander, lone druid, prophet, buffed, and pretty significantly, I would say. But the thing is that they can jungle, yeah, but it's not really fast enough, despite of the buffs, and they still can't gank before they hit level 6. Bloodseeker, he got nerfed, so he's even worse in the jungle now. Ursa, he's kind of the odd one out. He can gank slightly, but not really, but what he can do is he can threaten Roshan constantly. Same story about Lycan, actually. I think Ursa is still a better level 1 jungler than... Lycan is. Enigma, Chen, Enchantress are all great gankers and they all got buffed. Enigma, he's just sick. Chen has the potential of coming back in this patch. I'm not sure if he will, but I think he's really strong and I think he could make the cut now. Even in the late game, Chen can actually make an impact now. Enchantress is not the fastest jungler. You could argue that she can make up for that by sending creeps in to help the mid lane. But in terms of raw jungle speed, Enchantress is not fast enough. In terms of the high ground jungling, we have Coddle, Ground Ranger, Necrophos, Tinker, Leshrac, possibly even Medusa, maybe Crystal Maiden. And I have some, I have a few other heroes that could work as well. And when I say high ground jungling, I don't mean the cliff jungling, I mean the high ground jungle technique that I introduced with the Keeper of the Light videos in 2013. And this technique has gotten some buffs in this patch, actually. The best part, I think, is the Quilling Blade. I really think it's a huge deal. Also, the Mango buff is nice. I am using Mango when I jungle certain heroes. In the 84 patch, there was like this big jungle nerf, which sucked, but also they buffed Clarity and they buffed Gloves of Haste. And this is also stuff I use when I do the high ground jungle technique. And I know it's a bit far-fetched, but if Bounty Hunter got hit as hard as I thought he did in this patch, then I think it means that you have less Bounty Hunter, and when you have less Bounty Hunter, then you have less Bounty Hunter to mess you up when you're doing the high ground jungling. I mean, it's hard to actually make a jungler work who rely on stacking when there's just a Bounty Hunter constantly on you. The nerf to the high ground jungling this patch is like the nerf to dreads, I think. And I think that is pretty much it. I mean, also the fact that Necrophos can't do incense anymore, that also sucks. But Necrophos high ground jungling, he got buffed actually, because of the death pulse, he got buffed. Tinker got buffed, but not his jungle capabilities. But hey, 6 minutes travels, that's all I'm gonna say. Medusa got buffed, and I haven't really done the high ground jungle on Medusa yet, so I guess that doesn't count. Leshrac got nerfed in the mid lane, which means that maybe I can make him into a jungler now. I, I don't know, but we'll see about it. But I promise you Leshrac can jungle pretty quickly. In a few weeks I'm gonna show you exactly how fast he can jungle. Crystal Maiden is like the first hero I used with this high ground jungle technique, so I jungled Crystal Maiden a bit different than everybody else. Drow Ranger jungling is like the strangest jungler I've ever come up with. It's it's like, it's kinda bad, because you get your level 6 so late. It was 8 minutes when I did the guide, but since then it's become faster because the precision aura buff and the fact the gloves of haste got buffed. And you can't really do Drow Ranger in pub games. And in team games, it also only works if it's like this cheesy pocket strat. I still don't think it's bad. I think Drow Ranger jungling has some potential, but maybe it's just not good enough yet. Maybe we need to wait a few patches until Drow Ranger gets some more buffs, and then we can talk about it. Coddle jungling, however. Holy Jesus, he's a good jungler now. 
The Quilling Blade buff, the Chakra Magic buff, the fact that he can destroy mod golems. He's been buffed in every patch and honestly it's only a matter of time before he becomes a tier 1 jungler alongside Jin and Enigma. Darkseer's slight nerf but his Iron Shell duration got buffed in the previous patch which is great for jungling. I know for a fact that Darkseer can be a really fast jungler with this delayed stacking technique. I can't wait to show you guys that. Wraith King jungle, it's it's not gonna happen. Sven? I'm gonna put a question mark on Sven. Sven might actually be legit. I'm not sure about it until I try it. Troll, question mark. Sand King is pretty good but not great. Shadow Demon is for now a question mark, even though I'm pretty sure he can actually be a fast jungler. Wisp, I wanna say question mark, but the way you can jungle Wisp, it's actually legit. Beastmaster, I know for a fact is a great jungler, I got some ideas. Batrider is sort of a jungler. TA maybe got better now because of the medallion nerf and TA got some minus armor to deal with Roshan. And TA is actually a legit jungler for pop games. I saw this guy jungling TA and it, it's actually pretty sweet, honestly. It's the same story with Antimage jungling. Antimage jungling has been around since Dota 1, actually. Just, it's never really been used. And the Battle Fury got, like, slightly cheaper, 50 gold, but it's not really gonna matter. Are there any other crazy junglers out there? I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody. I'm not even gonna talk about freaking Tiny and Ruby. In conclusion, I think that the top 4 junglers right now is Enigma, Cuddle, Jin, and Tinker. And yes, I honestly do believe Tinker should be in this top 4 list. Call me crazy, but at least give me the benefit of the doubt until you've seen my jungle guide tomorrow. It, it will be out tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think about the patch analysis. This is the first one I've done, so I want to know what I can do better. And yep, yeah, see you tomorrow for some Tinker. Take care guys.